One of my favorite things to do is to speculate about all the new cars coming in the future. Um, I love looking up articles and seeing like what companies are talking about what cars are coming in the future and maybe even preview sneak peek pictures uh, before actually the production has started. And so today I'm going to give you a list of some cars that are coming in 2022 and 2023 that I personally am very excited about and I wanted to share with you guys. First one I want to talk about is the 2022 Audi e-tron GT. Now we've actually known about this car for a long time, but we're starting to actually see reviews and POV drives on it and uh, just videos about it in general, more information is coming out. We do know that it uses electric motors in the front and rear and it creates about 469 horsepower uh, in the normal driving mode and then 522 horsepower um, going for 2.5 seconds, zero to 60 when launch control is actually active. And actually the upgraded Audi RS uh, GT version is going to push out around 590 horsepower driving normally and 627 horsepower when you're driving uh, with launch control active. It's expected to have around 240 miles on a full charge and that's to be expected with some electronic cars right about now but uh, yeah 240 miles give or take. So the base model is going to come just under $100,000 with the Audi RS e-tron GT coming around $140,000. So a $40,000 gap between the base model and the RS version. You guys tell me in the comments if you think that's fair if you think it's gonna be worth the money I personally don't know also noted there's no leather in the entire car every material on the interior is from recycled materials as well as Alcantara um, just comes in every model base or upgraded just want to throw that out there as well just like the look of this car I'm excited to see what people do with it um, I don't know if it's gonna be a modifiable car per se considering it's an electric car at the end of the day but I like the way it looks it's kind of like a businessman like luxury vehicle that you still want to go fast in so I'm excited to see what comes out of the Audi e-tron GT going from one really fast electric car to maybe a faster electric car is the much anticipated 2022 to Tesla Roadster. So this car was actually originally slated to start coming out in 2020. Obviously that hasn't happened yet. We're all kind of wondering, you know, when it's going to come out and 2022 might just be the year of the Tesla Roadster. Now I've seen Teslas actually be modified pretty well. Uh, so considering this is their highest performing uh, $200,000, $250,000 almost supercar. I don't want to say supercar quite yet. I haven't really seen the specs of it. Um, but it's gonna be cool to see what people do with this um, if it even comes out. It's estimated that on a full charge, it'll range 620 miles, which I think is huge compared to the Audi e-tron GT that we just talked about, which is around 240, and it's slower. Tesla's obviously doing something that Audi's not um, as far as their electronics go, as far as the logistics go and what they're using, but 620 miles on a full charge is pretty good for a supercar in a sense. So the rumor that we all know about, and I think that you've heard of is that it goes zero to 60 in 1.9, seconds um, which is absolutely insane I mean that beats pretty much every single production car to date uh, for the money that you're paying at least um, so that's really crazy I want to see people's reviews on this and just kind of like see how the acceleration really feels that would be pretty cool going on to the looks I mean it's just got that signature Tesla sleek look it's very futuristic looking the front edge is very slick um, I like the way it kind of like flows together. All Teslas to me look a little bit like an egg. This one is like if an egg had a freaking aerodynamic spec to it. This looks pretty cool to me. Uh, I'm excited to see what the Tesla Roadster becomes. So I talked about it in my other new cars coming in 2022 video, but I want to talk a little bit more about it now that we have a little bit more information. That's the 2022 Subaru WRX. So I know a lot of people are not actually really fond of the way this car looks in the base model. We don't really know what the STI is going to look like quite yet. There's a lot of speculation on that, but I wanted to talk about the base WRX really quick. So base, it comes in a 2.4 liter turbocharged Subaru Boxster engine, pushing around 270, 271 horsepower. That's okay. Um, a lot of people didn't really expect Subaru to go this low. I think a lot of people were kind of pushing for it to be in the 300s and that's what I was expecting. Um, so kind of disappointing in that kind of spec. Um, a lot of people kind of wanted more out of the WRX and you know, it's not out yet. So there's a lot of speculation still going on. It could be a fantastic car, but it's not looking insanely good for the newer generation of WRXs. Again, this is just the base model. We don't really know what the STI is gonna look like. More than likely the STI will be a huge bump in, in performance, obviously, but uh, maybe that'll push the 300 horsepower range. We'll see. All I know is that it comes in a manual and an automatic transmission. And I heard that the automatic transmission is um, not just faster, but it's considerably faster. So if you're wanting to, you know, get a manual and be a real car enthusiast and enjoy, you know, driving your car, you might have to sacrifice some even more power that you wouldn't be getting in the first place with something as low as 271 horsepower. Also, I'm not really a fan of the looks. I think it definitely could have been designed a little bit better. Um, it, it strikes me as a more boaty kind of looking sedan instead of a real sports car. Uh, it's kind of gone away from the cool looking box kind of looking thing that the old WRX looked like and more towards a like 
uh, sharper design kind of like sedan it takes away from the original WRX feel in my opinion and I hope the STI looks a little bit different as far as the back end goes I don't hate the back end the tail lights are a lot like the new BRZ and GR86 is coming out but as far as the exterior goes that's probably my favorite aspect of it not a whole lot to go off quite yet so I could just be making um, some poor judgment here but I'm not looking to put my expectations high at all for the new WRX um, hopefully the STI blows us out of the water because this honestly is a little bit disappointing but nevertheless Nevertheless, it is a new popular car coming in 2022, so I wanted to throw it on this list. So the last one I'm gonna throw on this list is actually the new electronic VW Microbus. And I think it's really exciting to me because it kind of strays away from the sports car category and goes towards more of a classic kind of feel, obviously very popular in the 70s and 80s, and I think it's making a comeback now. The only problem is it was originally scheduled for 2022, and I think now it's delayed to 2023, which is bummer, but I'd rather than get it right than rush the process. The concept pushed around 370 horsepower uh, off of a 300 mile range fully charged. As far as the exterior comes, we don't really know what the production model is gonna look like, but the concept definitely looks really cool. Uh, puts a futuristic feel on kind of a more classic micro bus, and I think that's really, really cool in my opinion. And by 2025, VW wants the new um, electric micro bus to be the kind of face of VW in terms of the autonomous driving technology that they're coming out with. That is all I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you would like and subscribe, that would mean the world to me. I'm trying to grow this channel. I try to come out with as many car content videos as I possibly can. Uh, and I really appreciate when you guys support me. So I'll see you in the next one. Peace.